Yes. So let us look at this another question here. Hit three quarters of solid X, chain three, and then strongly. Uh, a colorless liquid forms on the cooler parts of the test tube. So that is our observation number one. That uh, a colorless liquid is for, uh, is formed at the cooler parts of the test tube. So that one simply confirms that here there is the salt is hydrated. Hydrated salt. Or you can say water. The salt contains water of crystallization. The brulee must paper turns red and red remains red. So meaning the uh, acidic gas, acidic gas, or hydrogen ions present. Hydrogen ions present. Uh, add about 10 centimeters cube of distilled water to a remaining amount of solid X. Uh, solid X dissolves to form a colorless solution. Uh, so if it forms a colorless solution, it means that the copper, the uh, ion 2, the ion 3, which is brown, is absent is absent I uh, divided the solution into six portions to the first portion add sodium hydroxide drop wise and tear in excess so the observation is that a white PPT is formed which dissolves in excess sodium hydroxide a white precipitate is formed which dissolves in excess so whenever sodium hydroxide is added a white precipitate is formed which dissolves in excess it simply confirms the zap zap means zinc ions aluminium ions and lead ions these are called amphoteric amphoteric ions present and then lead to positive present To the second portion, add ammonia solution, drop waste until in excess. So ammonia solution simply means ammonia hydroxide. Ammonia hydroxide. So a white precipitate is formed insoluble, insoluble in excess. But we have said this one are present. So if a white precipitate is formed which does not dissolve in excess of the hydroxide, it simply means that the zinc two positive is absent. But if this one is absent, then what could be present because we have the three of them? It means either aluminum three positive, comma, lead two positive is present. So you can choose to give this as the answer and it is correct or you can give this and this present and if the answer is correct uh, to the third portion add four drops of potassium iodide potassium iodide remember when we were talking about the reagent potassium iodide we expect a yellow precipitate we don't expect a white precipitate when we are adding potassium iodide therefore uh, the observation here is that no yellow precipitate is formed, so there is no yellow. If there is no yellow precipitate, it means there was no lead iod lead ions. Lead plus iodine, it forms lead iodide, which is yellow. But now, if it is no no yellow precipitate, means that the lead to positive is absent now we are doing elimination method we have already eliminated zinc ions we have eliminated now lead so probably what is inside there is aluminium so let us see because it is the one which has remained to the fourth portion add three drops of lead nitrate so uh, before we move to the next one if lead is absent then it means that aluminium 3 positive is present 
yeah it means that aluminium three positive is present this one is absent this one is present because this cannot form a yellow precipitate with iodine so this one is present so the fourth portion are the three drops of lead nitrate lead nitrate so lead nitrate mm -hmm, a white precipitate is formed a white precipitate is formed so if a white precipitate is formed and we are adding lead then we have four uh, anions that are present that is the sulfate the sulfate the sulfite the carbonate sorry two minus two minus uh, the carbonate and then the chloride because it is lead so all of these are present all of them are present to the fourth portion add barium nitrate followed by nitric acid barium followed by nitric a white precipitate is formed a white precipitate white precipitate is formed which does not dissolve in excess so a white precipitate is formed which does not dissolve in excess so if a white precipitate is formed and it does not dissolve in excess then it says if it, it, it dissolves in excess then the sulfite and the carbonate are present if it does not dissolve in acid sorry not in excess if the white precipitate does not dissolve in the acid then it means that the sulfate and the chloride can be there Repre present so so we suspect either this or this is there because it did it did not dissolve in the acid but if it dissolves it in the acid then the sulfite and the carbonate the carbonate are present the last one we are adding silver nitrate silver nitrate there is no white ppt silver nitrate will form a white precipitate with chlorine but now since there is no white precipitate it means that the chloride ions are absent now the chloride ions are here we suspected that it, it was present chloride ions was present but now here in the next one we have disqualified chloride so what could be there probably most probably the sulfate ions is the one that is present so when now you want to give the name of solid x x is aluminium because here we said aluminium is present aluminium uh, sulfate aluminium sulfate is the compound that is present here mm, thank you if you find this video worthy uh, if it uh, nice as you you can share and then subscribe thank you thank you very much